welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. This is actually going to be my first video in my back to school series and I'm teaming up with a few of my friends and they are going to be doing some back to school videos as well. So those friends, we have Julia Pacheco. You guys probably are already subscribed to her, but if you're not, I'm going to have her channel linked down below. She does lots of what's for dinner videos, cooking videos, all kinds of food related content. And then we have Vanessa White Randomness. She's super sweet. Her editing is on point. You guys are going to love her. She makes amazing, amazing quality videos. And then my friend Kayla from The Unmodern Millennial. She also does what's for dinners every single Sunday and she is all about budget friendly. She keeps her groceries under $200 for the month, which is insane to me. I think she has the most amazing budget friendly tips. So definitely go subscribe to all of those ladies down below. So like I mentioned, this is going to be a series. So today we are tackling breakfast, next week will be snacks, and then the week after that we are gonna be doing lunches. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss out on those videos. And let's go ahead and get into all of these easy breakfast ideas. So to start off, I am making this super delicious tomato and egg toast, perfect high protein breakfast. So I'm just starting off with getting my tomatoes all ready to go. On this particular day, I was actually using Roma tomatoes, but my absolute favorite are the beefsteak tomatoes. They're just super, super delicious, but go ahead and use whatever you have on hand for this one. But I'm just getting them all sliced up and ready to go. So I'm just frying some eggs up here. I always like to spray my pan with a little bit of the olive oil. This is just how I do it, but go ahead and use whatever you want. You can definitely do some butter, coconut oil, however you like your eggs. And then on this day, I was making enough for myself and the kids. So I ended up making four eggs and that was about perfect for us. I do like to break the yolks, but if you are somebody who likes your eggs a little bit runny, go ahead and leave those and just cook these like you normally would. I do like to add a little bit of salt and pepper on top give them a little extra flavor and then I just cook mine all the way through While those eggs are cooking up, I'm just getting my toast in the toaster. And then once that is done, I am actually just spreading on some mayo on here. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but stick with me. I promise you it's super delicious, kind of like an open-faced BLT. And then I just load it up with the tomatoes. And then for seasoning, I like to use a garlic and herb mix with like some salt, pepper, and garlic. I throw my egg on there and you are left with a super, super delicious, nice high protein breakfast, perfect for back to school. For the next breakfast, I am actually making some banana blueberry zucchini muffins. I took my normal banana bread mix and I just tweaked it a little bit and it turned out super delicious. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. So here into my stand mixer, I'm adding in half a cup of margarine. In this case, I'm actually using the Smart Balance. And then I go ahead and add in one cup of sugar and I just cream all of that together. Once that is all creamed together, you're going to be adding in your eggs. So you're going to need two eggs for this recipe. I just have them cracked into a bowl. And then for vanilla, I add about one to two teaspoons of vanilla and then again, mix all of that together. Moving on to the dry ingredients, I like to add in a combination of white and wheat flour for mine, but you can do whatever you want. So I added in about a cup of each of those. And then I'm also adding in two teaspoons of just regular plain old baking soda. And then you're also going to need about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just using the regular iodine kind. And then I did add in a little sprinkle of cinnamon. And then you're just gonna go ahead and get all of this mixed together. After getting all of that mixed together, I'm actually ready to add in my mashed banana and my zucchini. So for my mashed banana, I had three bananas that I mashed up and then I have about a cup and a half of grated zucchini. I did make sure it was very finely grated and then I'm just going to get all of this mixed in there. 
So this was my first time making this banana bread with the zucchini in there and it did add in a little bit of extra liquid. So I just added in a half a cup extra of flour. I would say you're going to want to add in about two and a half to two and three quarters cup of flour total in this recipe and that should be perfect. And then I did add in some fresh blueberries and I have to say these were super amazing in here. I definitely recommend but you could also do chocolate chips if you want to go that route. And now we are ready to actually get our muffins ready to go in the oven. So I always like to spray my muffin tins with just a little bit of olive oil or whatever type of spray oil that I have on hand. And then I'm filling these up pretty full. I would say you're gonna want them at least three quarters of the way filled and I've never really had an issue with them overflowing. So I'm just getting all of these ready to go. These are going to get baked in a 350 degree oven for right around 20 to 25 minutes I would say. You're going to bake them until a toothpick comes out completely clean and they're nice and golden brown on the edges. So this is what they should look like when they come out. Super super delicious. Can't wait to eat these. And then I'm moving them over to my baking rack. You do want to make sure these are really well cooled off before we put them into storage. One thing about these muffins is that you can make them ahead of time so we can either make them the night before or you can also have them in your freezer and then you can defrost them so that's something super handy it's always nice to have a great breakfast that you can just grab especially if your kid is riding the bus or they eat in the car on their way to breakfast something like that this would be a super great recipe for that So when it comes to storing muffins, I usually will keep some out fresh to eat for the next couple of days, and then the rest of them I will pop into a little freezer ziplock. I do make sure that it is the freezer kind so that nothing gets freezer burned, but these definitely froze very well, and this recipe was super delicious. I definitely recommend this one. Next up, I'm making these apple pie pancakes. This was a bit of an experiment. This was my first time making this recipe. I just tweaked my normal pancake recipe, but I have to say they turned out really good, so I'm excited to share this one with you guys. So to start off, I'm actually grating up some apple. So I have two apples cut up here and ready to go, but I didn't use the full amount. I would say I added in about one cup of grated apple, and you can use whatever type you already have on hand. Mine were Fuji apples, but I I really don't think the type of apple is going to matter. Just use whatever you already have in your home. I did also decide to sneak in some zucchini in this recipe because this was a great way to sneak it in. We seriously did not notice it at all, but I just grated up about one cup of zucchini and I did make sure it was really finely grated. And now we are moving on to dry ingredients. So here I'm adding in one and a half cups of regular flour, and then you're also going to need about one cup of wheat flour. You're also going to need two teaspoons of baking soda, and you're also going to need two teaspoons of baking powder. And then for other seasonings, I added in quite a bit of ground cinnamon. I would say close to a teaspoon. And then I also added in just a tiny bit of ground ginger, ground cloves, and ground nutmeg. Definitely be careful when you add those in because they're very, very strong. And then you're also going to need about a quarter teaspoon of regular salt. And then I just got all of this mixed together. Now I'm just going to add my wet ingredients right into my dry. So I added in two eggs and then you're also going to need about two and a quarter cup of buttermilk and just get all of that mixed together. And now is the time to add in your vanilla. I would say added a good two teaspoons of that because I really like vanilla. You're gonna need about a quarter cup of sugar and you're also going to need about three tablespoons of melted butter. And you're just gonna get all of that mixed together really well.
Now the last thing that you need to add here is your apples and your zucchini. My apples look a little bit brown. I promise they're totally fine. They were just sitting out for a good like 10 minutes and they turned brown. Apples always turn so brown unless you add in a little bit of lemon juice, but that's the last thing that you need to add in here and then you're ready to actually make the pancakes. So when it comes to making pancakes, I always like to make mine on a griddle. I think it's so much easier and so much faster this way. This is just a griddle that I picked up at Walmart and I just added them right on there and I'm just getting them fried up until they're nice and golden brown. Pancakes are one of my family's all-time favorite things to have for breakfast and I love having them in my freezer pretty much at all times. It makes breakfast super, super simple. If you guys have watched some of my other videos, I've mentioned it before, but I am not a morning person at all. So when it comes to breakfast, I am extremely lazy, so I love having things that are just ready to go. So you will find lots of easy breakfast ideas on my channel and my meal prep videos. Definitely am not a morning person, so these pancakes are super handy to have. So this is what the pancakes ended up looking like. I was able to make quite a few of them, which is great for tons of easy breakfasts. So I always like to just store these in a freezer Ziploc. You can also just put them right in your fridge if you're gonna use them up right away. But I will usually just throw all of them right into the freezer. And you can just warm these up in either your toaster, a toaster oven, you can put them in the air fryer or just your microwave if you want to do it that way. And these are super quick and easy to have on hand. For this next recipe, I am making a Brain Booster Smoothie, which is one of my personal favorites. So I'm starting off with my Ninja Blender here and I'm adding in about three quarters of a cup of frozen raspberries, right along with about one cup of frozen blueberries, which are filled with tons of antioxidants. And then for bananas, I like to add about one and a half frozen bananas. For a little extra something, I add in about a tablespoon of ground flaxseed, which is just filled with tons of omega-3s. And then here I have about half a cup of Greek yogurt. I do like to use the vanilla kind, which adds a little bit of sweet but it's filled with tons of protein and then I'm also adding in some spinach I would say I add in a couple cups I usually will use fresh but I totally have used frozen and it works just fine as well and then for the liquid in this recipe I'm adding in about one cup of almond milk you could definitely substitute that for juice if you want but I will usually use almond milk and then I fill it up the rest of the way with water and I just blend this until they get the consistency that I want sometimes I do have to add in a little bit more more water it's just gonna depend on your blender and also if you like your smoothies on the thicker or the thinner side but I'm using my ninja blender I absolutely love this thing it blends everything super super well I do like to make my smoothies on the thicker side but this is a really great healthy option especially in these warmer months that we're in Next up, I am making some peanut butter and banana oatmeal. This is also a very budget-friendly option. I'm just starting off by making my oatmeal. So into my pot here, I have about one and three quarters cups of boiling water and I'm adding in one cup of regular rolled oats with a little bit of salt in there and letting that cook up. While those are cooking, I'm getting my banana ready to go. So I'm just using one banana here. I actually do end up cutting up some more later on because this is a really small banana. Usually when I make it for myself and my kids, I'll just use one large one, but this was just a really tiny banana, so I ended up cutting up some more later on. So this is what your oatmeal should look like when it is all done and cooked through. I'm adding in some ground cinnamon and also a big scoop of peanut butter for some protein and some creaminess. And then I do like to add in some ground flaxseed just to add a little bit of something, a little more nutrients in this. And then I like to add a little bit of almond milk. You can definitely use even water if you want or whole milk. I definitely like milk. It adds a little bit of creaminess and I just get all of that mixed together until I get the consistency that I like. So on this particular day, this was my breakfast for myself and my two kids, and this amount makes plenty for us. Like I said, this was one cup of rolled oats, and it 
fed all three of us. So if you are on a budget, this is a really great option. And bananas are also super, super cheap, so it makes it even better. Once I have all of that divided out, I like to add on a little bit more ground cinnamon because I just love cinnamon. And then I'm sprinkling on those bananas. It was at this point that I realized that I wanted a little bit more bananas, so I ended up chopping up some more as well. So if we are ever having a low budget week or if we are just trying to spend a little bit less on groceries, this is a really great budget friendly option that also tastes super, super delicious. Definitely recommend trying this one out with the peanut butter and the bananas on there. It is just super delicious. All right guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed all of these breakfast ideas. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this is part of a back to school series. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to head down in my description box and check out all of their videos and their channels. Go subscribe to them. They all are super amazing and the sweetest ladies. So I know they would love to have you a part of their channel, but that is going to be it for today's video. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, it feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care.